guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another Project Pan update. This is for the That's So 2000s Project Pan. It was created by Samar, and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. If you'd like to see how I did this past month, then stay tuned. So this past round, I had in one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, two, three, ten. I had ten, I had ten products in. And Samar, <laughs> her suggestion was five, and I keep like ignoring her her um suggestion. But then I just watched her last video and she was like, do whatever you want. And so I was like, probably because everybody was anyway, and she got sick of it. <laughs> So I'm sorry, Samar, but I'm changing the rules up again for myself. I'm just trying, I love this project and I'm just trying to make it work for me. So here we go. The first thing I had in was for the Jones Brothers. That is a trio. And I pulled in my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. My goal is to use it 10 times and I've used it seven. I really enjoy this palette. You guys have heard me talk about it before. I'm starting to see the waffle on the bronzer not on the blush, and then a little bit on the highlighter. So let me swatch these for you. That is what they look like, highlighter, blush, and bronzer. The, the bronzer is a bit orangey for me. It's not exactly my right shade, so what I've been doing is using it underneath my foundation, and that's been working for me. Um, otherwise, it's too orangey. So that's how I've been using it and it's been working okay for me that way. So that's gonna stay in for another three uses. For my lip gloss is poppin', any lip gloss, I decided to put in my Tower 28 um, lip gloss and this is in coconut. My goal was to use it until it got below the R and you will see by my markings that it is right near the bottom of the E. So, there we are. So I started up there and I'm all the way down there. I really enjoy this um, lip gloss and I certainly have no problem using it. And it's one that I'm hoping that I'll be able to use up and get out of my collection next year. Yeah, unless I roll it into a project for the end of the year, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, for Hannah Montana, a day to night product or a duo product, I decided to put in these Ardell Magnetic Mega Hold Liner and Lash. So the liner that I bought with this originally that came with this pooped out. It totally clumped. The brush like frayed out. It was really, really weird. Um, so I got a different liner and I use these four times and they're just not sticking anymore. And I don't know if the magnets wore off. So my goal was to use them five times. I only used them four, but I'm gonna roll these out because like I said, they, um, they stopped sticking. So if they're not sticking, I can't use them. So these are rolling out. For Mr. Brightside, your brightest product, I decided to roll in this ColourPop color stick in the shade Hummingbird. This is a super duper bright shade that I'm currently using as an under eye liner. I'm using it right now. It's actually on my under eye um, lash line. And I really like it, but it's a little bit scary of a color for me. I'm not used to using really bright colors. Um, I want to try to use this more on my lid or more as like a, you know, outer corner when if I do a monochromatic look. I, I might try it that way um, because I'm not necessarily afraid of like teals and blues and greens. I just want to try to figure out how to use this the right way for me, but I digress. I've used it three times. My goal is to use it five, so this is sticking around. Next up for flare jeans adds flare to your look. I decided to bring the, in this um, Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow in the shade Iced Latte. And my goal was to use this five times and I used it nine. I could not stop using this. I really, really like it. It's more emollient than the ColourPop shadows. It has not dried out at all. And this made a trip from Washington State because my friend Amy from Curly Loves Beauty and Books gifted it to me because she no longer wanted to use it. And I'm so thrilled that she did because 
it's one of my favorite single shadows. I would take this on school days and put it on my lid and just blend it into my crease and it would just be a really nice like one and done um, eyeshadow. So while this is coming out of this project, it's staying in my collection because I really like it. Um, then for Uggs, something you wish was waterproof, for me, that is foundation. I hate that if you cry, it makes like little rivulets in your um, foundation and you can see the little lines where you're crying. Um, so I decided to put in this Smashbox Hello Halo foundation. My goal was to use it five times and I used it six. I really liked it and it's going to stay in my collection, um, but it's out of this project. So I'm happy about that. For Just Dance, makeup you would only wear to a party or special event. I like to think that I save like my high-end makeup for special events, which I kind of do. So I decided to put in this Dior Powder No Powder. This is the wrong shade for me. I'm a little disappointed in that. This is in the shade 2N and it is a little too dark for me. So I would get a shade lighter or a half a shade lighter next time. But this is a beautiful powder. And if I use it lightly, it just blurs my pores and it's gorgeous. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a really gorgeous powder. My goal was to use this five times and I used it seven. So I surpassed that goal. It's gonna stay in my collection, but it's also out of this project. For the prompt milkshake, a product that you have to shake up, I decided to go with my IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. And at first I was trying to find cheaper alternatives. And then I realized, you know what? I don't even hardly use dry shampoo. So if I'm using one, I want it to be a good one. So I don't mind spending the money. There is one that Jen from Project Beauty said I should try. So I will try that when I run out of my dry shampoos that I have. But this one is my favorite by far so far. My goal is to finish it. It went from 174.5 to 159.94. So I did use it, but um, um, I'm nowhere near finishing it, so it's going to stick around. For Blockbuster, a discontinued product, I chose to put in this color kind lipstick in the shade Full House. I have moved this to my blush category in my inventory. It is way too dark of a shade for me to use and actually like. It does look similar to what I have on my lips right now, but this lip color that I have on my lips is not as dark as this, plus this one was starting to smell funny. No, it wasn't starting to smell funny. It was starting to get like wet and I'm not sure if that means this is going bad. So let me know, should I throw this out or continue to use it as a blush? I'm not sure. It doesn't smell funny, but it's got like the water, the condensation on it. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, so let me know. My goal is to use it five times. I've used it once. For Black Eyed Peas, a black product or packaging, I pulled in my Pat McGrath blush and this is in the shade Aphrodite Amour. This is so beautiful. I can't even stand it. Look at this embossing. Gorgeous, huh? Gorgeous. So I usually just swirl it together and that is the shade. It is gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now, um, and my goal is to use it five times. I've used it three, so it's staying in. I'm not mad at that at all. All right, so I have six prompts left. I'm rolling out four things. I have six prompts left, and I decided I'm going to pull them all in. This product, our project does not end until April, but... I have a ton of projects starting at the end of this year, and the way I'm structuring my project pans next year is a bit different. So I want to try to roll out some projects if I can early. So by pulling in all the prompts now, I mean, there are only six left, then I can say I've touched them all, and if it takes me till the end of the project to use everything, fine. But if not, then at least, you know, I can finish it early and I've used all the prompts. So that's my goal. So let me tell you what they are. The first prompt I'm bringing in is Sanrio, a product from a different country. And I am bringing in my Glaminatrix Cosmetics Nocturnal Palette. Really excited to use this. Here is what it looks like. I have a feeling it's going to be a companion palette like that Adept one, but this is absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to use it. So I'm bringing this in no palette or no pan left behind style. So 
my goal is to use each shade. For the next prompt, One Piece, a never-ending product. I feel like blushes are never-ending, so I'm bringing in one of my favorite blushes. This is one that I hated, and now I love it, and that is my Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. This is, for me, such a nice fall color. It's a very neutral color on me. I thought it was going to be so orange and brown, but it really turns out that it's a great shade for me. It's a light, like, orangey brown. Um, it's not as orange as I thought, and it just really plays well on my skin. So the Never Ending Product blush, and I'm, my goal is to use this five times. I also am panning a lot of blushes right now, so trying to use that five times I feel is like is going to take me forever. Um, for VHS, a product that you have to wind up, I'm deciding to put in a MAC lipstick, and this is in the shade Viva Glam 2. This was a Jen from Project Beauty made me buy it. It was looked gorgeous on her, and I'm like, what are you wearing? And she told me, and I put it in my Ulta cart and bought it. So here is a swatch of it there. I cannot wait to use it. It looks like a perfect fall color, and my goal is to use it five times. For Frappuccino, something sweet, I decided to pull in this Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar um, Rollerball Perfume. It is it has a really sweet scent and I really like it. So my goal is, and nectar is sweet anyway, so I decided to pull this in and finish it. My goal is to finish it. For YouTube, a product you discovered on YouTube or bought because of a recommendation on YouTube. And for me, that is this NYX HD corrector. This is the green color corrector from NYX. And this is a Hannah Louise post in made me buy it. She, instead of using foundation a lot, uses a lot of concealers and color correctors to even out her skin tone instead of foundations. So this was one of her favorites. And I thought, you know what? I got to try it because I have a lot of rosacea. So there is what this color corrector looks like. I'm excited to try it. Um, and I'm bringing it in for a five times usage goal. Look at all these swatches. And then last but not least for Mean Girls, something pink. I decided to bring in my Benefit Mini Little Dandelion brush, Blush. This is a really pretty pink color, but also because of the, the emblem on the front. So here is what that one looks like. It's a really super light pink. Goes very, very well with my super pale light skin. <laughs> and my goal is to use that one five times as well. So I hope Smar is okay that I brought in the rest of the products. I'm sure she is. And I hope you guys are okay with that too. Um, I'm really excited about this project. I feel like I'm moving along with it nicely. And I love these prompt based products or projects that you can bring in all kinds of products and you like just use your own creativity. So I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.